Hello, and welcome to our webinar on Passkeys, the Future of Secure Authentication. We're excited to have you here today as we dive into this innovative technology that's set to transform your company's authentication processes and enhance security for your organization. Here's our agenda for today. We'll start with an introduction to passkeys, compare them to traditional passwords, discuss their importance, explore the technology behind them, and look at the next steps for passkeys. We'll also cover how passkeys work, their benefits, and how Dashlane is implementing this technology. Finally, we'll have a quick demo and a recap before concluding the session. Let's start by looking at what passkeys are and why they matter for your business. Passkeys are based on public key cryptography that offers a modern passwordless authentication method. Designed to replace passwords, they offer a more secure and user-friendly alternative. Passkeys rely on device-based biometric or local authentication methods, both of which are supported by Dashlane and enhance security and convenience for users. Now, let's compare passkeys with traditional passwords to better understand their advantages. Passwords are transmitted between the customer's device and the website's server, making them vulnerable to theft during that transmission or even to hacks and data breaches on those servers. They can be reused, exposed, fished, and guessed, making them an easy target for hacks and phishing attacks. In contrast, passkeys are phishing resistant because they're uniquely tied to a website and provider, such as Dashlane. No secret is transmitted that could be stolen, Passkeys can't be reused on multiple accounts, and they're not something the user knows or can see, meaning they can't be stolen or the target of a phishing attempt. Passkeys are a game changer for several reasons, especially for enterprises, because they enhance security and protect sensitive data, improve the user experience with faster and simpler login flows, boost operational efficiency by reducing time spent on password resets and forgotten passwords and reduce the impact of data breaches that can lead to significant financial losses. This can be through direct theft of funds, fraudulent transactions, or the costs associated with mitigating the attack, such as forensic investigations and legal fees. Let's dive into the technology behind passkeys. Passkeys use public-private keys, which, once set up, are kept separate and never shared or transmitted. Authentication occurs through a unique cryptographic challenge using biometric or local authentication methods. This cryptographic challenge is generated uniquely for each authentication attempt, ensuring that even if a challenge is intercepted, it can't be reused. With Dashlane, passkeys can be used seamlessly across various platforms and devices without the risk of phishing attacks. What are the next steps for passkeys? We're actively working on making passkeys that require user verification available for Dashlane accounts with single sign-on logins. We expect this ability to be available later this year. While sharing passkeys is not yet available, we strongly believe it will be essential for their successful implementation and widespread use. As members of the FIDO Alliance, Dashlane is at the forefront of this discussion. The FIDO Alliance is making significant progress on the ability to export and import passkeys using a new file format. We're optimistic that this ability will be available by the end of 2024. Now, let's talk about how passkeys work. Passkeys are still a relatively new technology, and not all services have implemented them yet. Among those that have, implementation can vary. For example, Amazon requires users to create a separate passkey for each of their domains while X allows the creation and login with passkeys using their mobile app, but not on the web. However, the fundamentals of passkeys remain the same when it comes to setting them up and authenticating with them. Setting up a passkey always starts on the service's website or app. Therefore, the service must offer this authentication option to create a passkey. A pair of keys, public and private, are created. The public key is stored on the service's servers while the private key is stored in the user's Dashlane account and never shared or transmitted. When logging in on the service website or app, a unique one-time random challenge is generated. This challenge is sent to the user's device where the private key signs in. The signed challenge is then sent back to the service server 
which verifies the signature using the public key. No secret is transmitted, only the challenge. Let's explore the benefits of using passkeys. Passkeys significantly enhance security by being phishing resistant and eliminating risks such as password theft and brute force attacks. Even if a service experiences a server breach and the public key is stolen, it remains useless without the private key, ensuring secure authentication and preventing unauthorized access. The same can't be said for passwords because they are transmitted and can be stolen through phishing or brute force attacks. Passkeys offer convenience without compromising security. Your employees don't need to remember passwords, resulting in fewer or no resets and a faster login experience. They also provide a user-friendly authentication method that can improve productivity. Passkeys decrease the burden on IT support teams cutting down on the time and resources spent handling password-related issues. Passkeys enhance data security and compliance, helping prevent costly data breaches and minimizing the risk of security incidents. This not only protects sensitive information, but also avoids the financial repercussions associated with such breaches. Now, let's see how Dashlane is integrating passkeys. Passkeys improve both security and convenience while integrating seamlessly with our zero-knowledge architecture. They can be synced and are compatible across multiple devices, and Dashlane supports them with or without an additional user verification step to confirm the identity of the person logging in. Dashlane's role in the FIDO Alliance underscores our commitment to pioneering passkey authentication standards and shaping the future of secure, cutting-edge authentication. Now let's move to a quick demo. We'll demonstrate setting up a passkey, logging in without user verification, logging in with user verification, and logging in from mobile devices. Let's start by accessing Dashlane's web app and navigating to Google's login page, which we've saved with our login details. We'll log into our Google account using Dashlane's autofill feature. Since we don't have a passkey set up yet, Google suggests creating one. For this demo, we'll create the passkey directly from Google's security settings. I'll select passkeys and security keys, and then select create a passkey. Because Dashlane is fully integrated with my browser, it automatically recognizes the service and account and offers to create a passkey. I'll click confirm to continue. As you can see, the passkey for Google is created quickly and easily. It's now added to our Dashlane account in the passkeys section. Let's test this new passkey by logging out and logging back in. On the login page, we are initially prompted for the password option, but we can choose try another way. Here, we see the use your passkey option. Dashlane recognizes this request and asks for confirmation. And there we have it. We're logged in securely and swiftly using the passkey without needing a password. Now we'll demonstrate using a passkey with user verification in Microsoft. User verification adds an extra step to confirm the identity of the person logging into the account. Dashlane supports this in two ways, through your Dashlane master password, or through Biometric Unlock if you've set up that feature. We already have a passkey created, so let's go ahead with logging in. Dashlane prompts me to confirm the passkey and then request the master password for user verification. Now let's see how Biometric Unlock can simplify and speed up this process. First, we'll log out and access our Dashlane account settings. In the Settings menu, we navigate to Security Settings and enable Biometric Unlock. For macOS, we'll set up Touch ID as our unlock method. Returning to the Microsoft login page, we choose Other ways to sign in and select the passkey option. This time, when Dashlane asks for confirmation, instead of entering the master password, we use Touch ID. And we're logged in completing the user verification with biometric unlock and avoiding the need to type in any password. For our final demo, let's create and use a passkey on an iOS device for X. 
First, as with any other service, we need to start the process from the app settings. We'll go to the security settings in the X app. Here, we find the option to enable a passkey. Note that the keyboard is not visible at this stage for privacy and security reasons, but it's asking for the X password to continue. I'll select Create a Passkey. As in the previous demos, Dashlane is recognized as the service handling the passkey request. I'll select Continue, and the passkey is now active. Let's test this by logging out and logging back in. When choosing the account to log into, Dashlane will ask if I want to use the passkey. And just like on the computer browser, I'm quickly and securely logged in using the passkey. Let's now recap what we've covered today about passkeys. Passkeys enhance security with phishing and data breach resistance, prevent costly breaches, and minimize the risk of security incidents. They also improve user experience and operational efficiency, making them the future standard for secure, user-friendly authentication solutions. Thank you for attending our Passkeys webinar. We hope you found this session informative and helpful. If you have any questions or would like to explore Dashlane's solutions further, please don't hesitate to reach out. Stay safe online and have a great day.